Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you a requested tutorial on how I did my blue diamond wig. Originally when I filmed this I was going to show you how I did the whole wig but me being me I'm really bad at styling long wigs so I ended up having to restart kind of and I will mention that it was I had to like I don't know, I sewed in some extensions and I had to like cut them out and then just like <sighs> I'm a mess. So I'm um, instead of like doing a thorough walkthrough, I'm gonna explain it and then if I have a clip for it, then I'll show you the clip. So basically what I first started with, I started with a long wig. You know, a long white wig. I think I got a Le Tigre from Arda, I think. Um, if I remember correctly. Um, I th I, it's an alright wig. I didn't think it was full enough in the back for a blue diamond, which is kind of what caused my downfall. Uh, but we're not worrying about the back of the wig, we're worrying about the front. Anyways, so basically what I started with is I decided that blue diamond has really fluffy hair. Kind of. It's it's kind of fluffy. Like, it, meh. So basically, I I'll make this wig have like a couple of like waves so it's like kind of wavy. So what I did is I started with brushing out each section of the, well no, I put on the wig first and then I took what I wanted to be in the front and what I wanted to be in the back. Now be careful if you don't want to sew in anything to fill in any spots because taking a lot in the front will definitely take away from the back and you will have holes. So that's your personal preference. I didn't really like the idea of having holes, so I sewed in extensions. All the works. Anyways, so once you figure that out, I used around two braids per half of per side of my face. Now at this point, I had already cut the bangs because the tiger has no bangs, but if you get a wig that does have bangs, you clearly don't have to do that. Huh. Anyway, so after I br brushed out each side and braided them, you will now see that I moved on and I started to kind of heat seal in the curl that the braid will cause it to have if that's that's probably not the right terminology but I'm gonna go with it because I'm a mess anyways so after I did that several trial and errors with how I made the loop first I tried Mod Podge I don't know why I tried using Mod Podge because it didn't work. Don't use Mod Podge. But I ended up thinking, oh yeah, you know what'll help work? Because it always works for everything cosplay related. Hot glue. So I ended up getting some hot glue and just, okay, I don't like that. Sorry, I'm, we're gonna make that. Well, I was like, all right, we can try hot glue. Worst comes to worst. I don't know, I'll just try and like melt it out with like a heat gun and try and brush it out. I don't know, I didn't have to do that because it ended up working the way I wanted it to, but the way I did do this loop means that you cannot use this wig for other characters unless the other character also has a loop, which kind of sucks, especially if you got an expensive wig like I did and to not be able to use it for more than one cosplay. But it really depends on how extra you're being with your cosplay and how much you're willing to put into this singular cosplay. For me, I'm doing a ball gown cosplay and I want it to be really nice, so I felt like spending the extra money would be worth it since it was also a cos a <laughs> since this piece would also be a contest piece. So, I ended up yeah, doing that. So, if you don't want your thing to be permanent then i suggest either finding a different way or just getting a cheap wig so i did hot glue and hot glue worked pretty fine what you're going to want to do is first figure out how low or high do you want the loop to be I th you just want to kind of loop it and glue it you don't want to add a lot of glue a single small drop is more than enough and you want to take the hair in chunks so the hair kind of sticks together, if that makes sense. And you just want to slowly do that until you've got a desirable loop going on. After that loop, I ended up having to do a lot of stuff to the back of the wig, which we're not going to go over because you don't want to do what I did. And you don't want to have to cut out stuff. And you don't want to have to be carrying around a t Like, I don't know, that thing was so heavy, I was dying. So we're not going to go over that. Learn from my mistakes, kids. Be careful with your wigs. 
and just treat them nicely. Anyways, <laughs> um, back to the loop. I ended up at this point because of how much I messed it up. I did try adding hairspray to keep it together because I found it to be really frizzy, but that didn't really help. So what I ended up doing is I did, I kind of soaked it in a fabric softener and fabric softener and water to try and get out some of the hairspray. I didn't get out all of it, but I did get out some, and what I did get out, it actually kind of made the loop less frizzy. I don't know how that works, but I have a friend who told me some ways to, like, it works on real hair, and I haven't had a chance to try it on the wig, but I've heard that dryer sheets work, and I don't remember the rest, but I'll put them in here, uh, but I, they, the flyaways ended up not being too much of a problem, so I didn't, you know, go to them further. Um, and then once I finished and kind of sorted everything else out, I went back in and took any big chunks that I felt were not, like, it's quite actually a simple thing, it just took a while to think of how to do it. Once you get some, like, hot glue, I use, like, maybe, maybe, maximum, two sticks of hot glue on this. You should not be using an excessive amount. A little bit goes a long way with this type of loop thing, okay? It goes a long way, and you don't want to overdo it because then you might have glue being visible, and you want to make sure also to, like, that's basically it. I don't, there's not, there's not a lot to how I did it, um, but I felt like it might be a nice video idea to show because I had so much trouble originally when I was first doing this cosplay, or first started it, um, on how I was going to do it. So, yeah, um, I guess this, to, this kind of can go for any loop that you need for hair. Um, I personally hate it when people just, like, take some foam and then wrap it around because hair does not go like that unless you're doing like drill curls or curls in general um whereas this was more straight so this is a good way the only problem is that you can't take it out really unless you want to risk melting and re-putting in hot glue every time you want to cost as a different character so that's up to you i guess but you might melt your wig and that won't be good no one wants burnt wigs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I feel like it's still gonna be a little short and sweet, but I hope you learned something. Uh, if you do try this technique, please feel free to tag me in it because I would love to see how yours turns out. Um, if you turn, like, if you try this on any wig, it doesn't have to be just for Blue Diamond. Um, but yeah. Uh, Anything else? Uh, my social media links will be linked in the description. You can tag me. My Instagram is the same as it's here. And uh, feel free to like this video if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more of my content. But also, I look forward to a Blue Diamond makeup tutorial if you're interested. Because I would like to do one of those very soon. Keep an eye out for that video if you are watching this video specifically for a Blue Diamond cosplay. Because... I do have a couple blue diamond stuff coming up. Uh, do all the stuff in the thing, in the comments, and the <laughs> likes, and <laughs> yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>